good? Does it sound good? It does indeed. So, turn it down in my ears. Hello, hello, people of the internet. It is I, Solar Act Dragon, here back with more Fate Grand Order, where today Christmas has come early. Two weeks ish early here, as the glorious path to Santa Claus, the sealed Christmas present event, has begun. During this event, we will get the limited four star servant, Karna Santa. So, I'm finally going to get Karna in my Caldea. But before we begin with that, we do have some news to go through real quick. First is the summoning pickup that is going on and that we will be partaking in. So the ongoing Christmas 2022 summer pickup is here, including new limited 5-star servant Vritra, and three new limited craft essences. In addition to that, Beowulf and Ruler Martha are also on radar. Right so nothing really new here except for probably some information about the pity. Um, and none of them will be added to the pickup, although Beowulf and Breacher will be in the story sums. Okay, that's something. Um, and the three star of Craft Essence will be in the friend point. So, Ritra is a Lancer class servant, Arts Lancer, Arts AoE Lancer. Now, I know what you might be thinking why am I going for an Arts AoE Lancer? when I already have NP5, level 100, 10, 10, 10 Lambda. Lambda's not going to be replaced by Vritra here. Not at all. If anything, Vritra might be a bit of a support because that art card resistance decrease could be very good on challenge quest-based things. Very good possible. Plus, you know, dragons. Gotta get the dragons. Um, in addition to that, Ruler Martha is on thing, as is Beowulf. In addition to that, that... There is some new some new CEs as normal with the holiday season. The first is the Twinkling Stars 5 Star CE featuring Pollux and Caster. Arts by 10, NP Strength by 10, and 3 stars every turn. Permanently, it is a mixed CE with both attack and HP. Not bad, not bad. Also increases the Holy Banana drop rate. Next is Red Box that looks to be featuring Ash. Um. And then it's kind of hard to tell, but maybe Junko Rama? It's very tiny in this. I We'll see when I actually roll it. But Red Box is an attack CE. Buster by 10, crit by 8, and the Saint Bar by 1. And the final is the Freeze Frame, which is Georges. It is an HP CE with a damage cut for 100 and arts by 3, as well as a cool gum increase by 1. And then, Vritra herself. <laughs> I'm picking up Indra said, the serpent demon god and evil dragon of Indian mythology strikes. The serpent demon god or the evil dragon mentioned in a number of, in a number of Indian texts, such as the Rigveda and the Mahabharata, its name means obstacle, and it is believed to have the power to obstruct the flow of waters, to cause droughts. Indra was said to have defeated Vritra and put an end to the drought it caused. Vritra is, const is constantly depicted as Indra's enemy, and the conflict between these two is often referenced in myth. Indra's other name... Vritrahan literally means Slayer of Vritra. And then, just those two, you can see Vritra's NP on YouTube if you want. Same thing with Ruler Martha. And then Beowulf himself got a rank up quest. His battle continuation has evolved into Perseverance of Old Age. The Guts now also, in addition to Guts, it is a one turn less. And it also is a three turn crit strength, three turn dragon attack, and a three turn giant attack buff. Very niche buffs for him, but you know. He's a single target Zerger, so it makes sense. So with that out of the way, the news posts itself about the event. Christmas season is upon Caldea once again. This year, Karna has been appointed Santa as he diligently gives out presents, also known as road work, throughout the festivity, stif festively decorated Caldea. Every single gift mysteriously transforms into an unopenable black box. They determine the cause, the Master and Karna race shift to a singularity in the snowy mountains, where they encounter a mysterious servant possessing tremendous power. Why do you impede my gift-giving? Answer me, evil dragon. Who is this, mis this mysterious servant who transformed every Christmas present into black boxes, and what could they intend? To bring smiles back to everyone's faces, to restore Caldea's presence to their original form, Karna's shining fist will blaze a trail through the holy night. 
So the event is here. Mysterious phenomena is called. All presents to turn into black and refuse to open. Um, go to the obstruction singularity and find out. During the main qu as you progress, four star Karna Santa will temporarily join the party. You have to complete the main quest to add him permanently. Um, there will be various rewards for the roulette. It is a roulette event, as our, all Christmases are. We do get six ink quartz as a reward. Um, you can check out the trailer online. It was a very nice little trailer. Um, you progress by finding the source of the obstruction and restore the presence to their true form. Uh, solar hand wrap is the roulette item. And those are increased by the cherry icicle CE, it looks like. You have to collect black presents to, un to progress in the quest. And you exchange the roulette reward fighter exchange ticket for more Karna Santas. Failure the main quest, to add a la which unlocks at a later date, to permanently unlock him to the party. Christmas gone through the through the present roulette to get extra NPs for Karna as well as special quests for Karna. Um, the Christmas gong and Karna Santa for exchange will unlock once Karna Santa has been unlocked. New main quests will be unlocked at certain dates. So currently, I believe I only have available to main quest round two available. Um, I'm not, I'm hopefully going to be streaming this again Thursday, which will unlock a couple more of them, but, um, yeah. Uh, black presents, certain amounts are used to unlock the next main quest. Christmas gongs to unlock special quests. Earn rewards through the solar hand wrap exchange. Um, you can also now spin 100 times from the 11th lineup onwards. So, Awesome. Saves a lot of present space, I'm sure. Um, and then these are the various lineups. One through four is the essential material of Santa bags. The fifth one gets you the fighter exchange ticket to actually permanently get Karna. Sixth one gets you lore. Seven through ten gets foes. And the rest of them have these various items. Look and be amazed. I'm not going to pause. Just look and be amazed. Um, Christmas 2022 exchange ticket can be exchanged for one of three items in the present box. Tear Stones of Blood, Divine Ley Lines, Spirit Tones, and Soundless Spells. Multiple can be exchanged at once. Um, Karna gets a double experience towards enhancements. And the Lex Servants will get increase in bond and attack. All Christmas Servants, I'm sure, as well as various associated with the Indian Pantheon and Boxing. And Dragons, it seems. Um... Bonus Craft Essence increases, nothing new there. And the Cherry Icicle Craft Essence, which does look to feature Parvati, is a quick by 5, NP by 10, and starting NP of 30%. Not the best of them, but it is what it is. Also, it looks like Event Limited Command Codes. The Hero of the Endowed features um, Arjuna, which is 3 stars on attacking with the engraved card, and a 200 HP recovery. That is actually fairly decent. Staff of the Dragon Holy Maiden here is Martha's Staff. Increase the engraved current chance against dragons by 30% if on a Buster card. And Tragic Dragonkin, who, not, who knew not of love, features the Tarrasque. Poison for 300 for 3 turns to a single enemy when attacking with the card. And 5% crit strength increase. Not bad. Karna Santa. A Santa Claus of benefaction blazing a trail through the Holy Night with his fists. Son. Karna has become Santa because of reasons. Once a year during Christmas time, everyone wishes for presents. Karna learns Santa Claus is the one who grants these wishes, and the moment he realizes he has the power to do so himself, he does not hesitate to take on the role. And so, whenever the children ask, Santa, please give me a present, this new Santa Claus simply replies, very well, here you go, and grants their Christmas wish. He may be seem a bit frosty, but he's far from gold-hearted. He just has a hard time smiling. And you can see his NP online... And nothing really else here except for showing what is available through the things. And again with the Beowulf Frank. So, that is the full bit of news. Hey, G. Senjo, welcome to the stream. Happy things, happy things. Indeed, the hero of charity being a Santa just makes sense. So, before we get to that, let us go ahead and claim the various rewards here. Oh, hang on. Why can I not multi-click these? Oh wait, yeah, it's through this. Duh. Duh. It's been a while since I claimed exchange tickets, so I'm just dumb. Oh, it's been a while since I claimed exchange tickets. Um, Apology Quartz. Ten summoning tickets. Quartz. 
root. Login, 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 login. Downloads, downloads. Boop, boop. Uh, doot. Doot, 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 But yeah, I'm looking forward to this event. It sounds like it's going to be a fun, fun time. Granted, I have a lot of presents apparently I need to clear out. A lot of presents. I cannot believe I forgot to take the app and then at Mount Oi craft distance when I finished he on Kyo. I'm a lazy bum sometimes, aren't I? I think... Yep, that should be everything there, so... With all of that claimed, we have to claim, of course, the quartz fragments. Lots of ley line stones and the like. Whee! More extra missions. And master missions. There we go. Alright. Ignore the fact that there is another thing. What is new here? It's just the events. What is new? You are shining new, but there is nothing new. You lied to me, game. So to the summoning we go! So, I have 708 quartz and 30 tickets. I am not going to go beyond 11 spins at most here for Ritra. And obviously the 11, or the 10 tickets. I don't think I'm going to go beyond that. 10-11, it is my birthday, so it is my lucky number, so I think without further ado, let us start the rules here for Ritra. Will we get another Dragon Lancer in our Caldea? Thank you. By the way, how be things, Jisenjo? How be things? Oof. Got some good pops of the elbows there. Starting off strong with two um, CEs that are not rate-up CEs. Very nice, very nice. Three CEs that are not rate-up CEs. Okay, okay. Ooh. That's something. That was some heavy lag. Wow. Man, ah, that lag. Ooh. That was some heavy, heavy lag there. That was lag, wasn't it? Assassin Fuma. Kotaro. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, it is just, it is teasing me with slag. There we go, we got red box. The red box. I'll be able to zoom in on that so I can get a more detailed look of it. Just another week of work, and then you'll have two weeks of holidays. Nice. Holidays are always nice. Me, I only get, I've only taken the final week of the year off myself. Um, so it's this weekend, next week for me. And I do have my final exam in Anatomy and Physiology 1 tomorrow. So after stream tonight, I'm going to be rubbing my nose to the grindstone to do more studying. Because I've been studying all weekend. <laughs> um... I feel fairly confident, though. Overconfidence might be a slow and insidious killer, but I'm not overconfident, considering I always panic when it comes to exams. I always panic when it comes to exams, but, uh, yeah, I get to study that tonight some more, and then study tomorrow before the exam, take the exam, and then I'm free for the remainder of the year from all schooling. And then just this and next week of work, and then I'm free from work for a while. Even more woo. <sighs> It'll be nice and relaxing to have a week off of work. Very nice and relaxing. Alright, only thing we got there was red box. We'll lock it in since it's our first copy. Even if combat style has changed to boxing, a warrior still needs to train. It's even more important when a sworn friend joins the fray. Just like in those days when they trained together under their mentor. So, if I look at this, so that is Arjuna in the back. I'm guessing that's Karna. Junko look... Junko. Jinako. Bleh. Gosh. Junko. Junko and Oshima. I've got Danganronpa on the mind. But Jinako looks a bit different there. 
Not a bad look for her. And then, of course, Ash in the front lines. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it is... It was only two courses this semester, so it wasn't that bad. And it's only going to be two courses next semester, but... Fingers crossed I can get into the Radiation Technology Program at this school next fall. And then I can start working towards my career goals of being a rad tech, a radiologist. Which will be nice. Just a lot of school. A lot of school. <sighs> it's gonna be fun, though. It's gonna be fun. Also, I had lag there, but of course, it's not gonna show me anything. I will do a skip click through this one, though. Just to see if we can get anything unique. Innocent Maiden. I would really like the 5-star CE, I will say, as well. And again, in addition to Retra, I would like the 5-star CE. And some of the 3-star, now that I think of it. Well, two 10-spins and she came home. Two 10-spins, or two 11-spins, not bad at all. Not bad at all. I am Vritra. Honestly, what does a mere human like you intend to do with a serpent like me? Thank you. I'm a demon who only acts on my own desires. You better not think you can tame me. Oh, Vritra. You, got, you haven't seen who we've tamed in this Caldea. But, um, oh, I... That's not the three-star CE. This isn't the Christmas three-star CE. When did this come out? This is kind of creepy looking. Oh, we got Retra. Yay. Uh, I still, however, need to get the five and the three-star CEs, so I'm not done rolling yet because I haven't gotten them. Um, Piercing Vajra is arts by one, arts card for three turns, and crit star gather rate. Not bad. It came out with 5.5. Okay, makes sense since I have not rolled since then. And welcome, Deontay. Welcome to the stream. How be things? How be things? Dragonkin and Magical Resistance, and again, AoE, Arts, Noble Phantasm. Not as good as Lambda, however, so, I mean, she'll go on the level up order, but she's not going to be too high up on it, just because I've already got a better version of her. I feel like that's the case. I honestly don't know if, um, Retra is, if Lambda is better than Retra. I imagine so, but... I'm not 1,000% certain. May as well check. And I'm going to keep rolling just because I do want that 3 and 5 star CE. At least a couple of them. Uh, let's see. Oh, gold sparks on the very first spin. That's what I get from paying attention. Oh, hey, it's Martha! I don't think I've got Ruler Martha, actually. No, I do not. So Ruler Martha has joined Caldea as well. So I'm going to need to slot her in the level of order as well. Okay. And hey, we got the Twinkling Star CE as well. Woot woot. And it does look like Lambda indeed outstrips Retra as far as NP. But I'm not seeing Retra here. Where is Retra? AoE Arts. Why is she not on this NP damage calculator? Hang on. Uh, go by type art. Yeah, she's not on this. That's weird. Why is she not on this? Huh. This MP damage calculator is... Oh, this is an up-to-date... That is an up-to-date, that's why. Let's go to the up-to-date one. Lancer. By card type. Alright, so... Oh, we got another red box. Nice. So, MP5 Lambda 
does around 33,653 at a base. I would need NP5 Vritra to come close to exceed Lambda. No, my bad. NP3 Vritra at base. But when combining the other effects... Okay, still, so, Lambda's the best girl, so that's what I'm going with. I will forever be a Lambda Simp. She is best. Levi. She is my go-to AoE Arts Lancer. Whereas Arash is my go-to Buster Lancer that is AoE. Another red box. I'm not going to have a hard time farming the four-star currency in this, I don't feel. I don't think I'm going to have a hard time at all. I think I'm going to start skipping. Um... Question is, how many of each CE do I want? Hmm. That is a question. Martha has arrived once more. No matter my appearance, I am still me. Without fail, I shall save the world with you. Cool. Alright, so we are at three of the four star, one of the five star, and zero of the three star. So the twinkling stars is Pollux and Caster. Decorations resembling the twins and starry candles lit up dazzle on a top of a cake. While the older brother has absolutely no interest in human customs, he shuts his mouth quite seeing the delighted expressions on his sister's face. After all, today's a special day. Happy Christmas. Ruler Martha is forever in the dark and damage. I don't think... I don't think I have an offensive ruler right now, though, is the thing, so... Ruler Martha might actually be beneficial for me. Because I don't think I have an offensive ruler. Not off the top of my head, at least, I don't think so. I'd have to look through my list of servants. So I know I have Jean. Iron Will Training. Okay, I do have a Stray. I don't think she's leveled up, though. Yeah, I don't think a Stray is leveled either, so... Kind of the same boat, really. And even then, I only think I have her. Not 100%. Uh, there we go. There's two of the three stars. So I have three of the four, two of the three. I'll get three of the three. I kind of want another one or two of the five star, maybe. Uh, to photograph, to pho photographers, Christmas offers unique opportunities. Everything is done in order to eternalize the rustling lights and people's smiles as memories. That's a very nice sentiment there, Georges. A very nice sentiment indeed. Okay, let me actually scroll. I need to start slotting people in here. Alright, so none of them are going to be in the plus one category, so where do I want to slot? Let's start with Vritra here. Where will she go in my level up order? Um... I think we put her above Quick Jean. Also, click to skip. And there go, it's wrapping around. Another red box, that puts me at four red boxes. Oh wow, that was a low, low roll. Okay. Another ticket. Oh, uh, and then Ruler Martha. Ruler Martha can go here. I'll figure out pictures for them eventually. And another 11 spin. I just want two more of the five star CD, I think. And I think we put the inevitable Santa Carna. Oh, I haven't locked in Alkita's picture. Holder. Wow, that was another low roll. Oh, that was another mineral. Gosh. 
and none of the three star CEs. Come on, game. Be nice to me. There's another of the five star CEs, so thank you for being nice to me, game. So I need at least one more of the five star CE, I think. And then we will be good. Ah, involve Pierce. Okay, fair. Um, and there's the third of the five star CE, so I think I will be rolling for tickets? Or rolling my tickets until I'm out of those? And then that will be it. Okay, come on. I don't remember how to insert the images into the cells, and now I'm lagging my laptop out. Maybe... I'll figure it out later. And now let's pay attention to the actual game, because I've been turning my head away for it from it for a little bit, so I've not paid attention to anything I've been getting on the rolls. Okay, uh so another of the five, another of the four, no more of the threes. So I'll have at most three of the three star CEs, unfortunately. Luckily, this event will get a rerun in two years' time, so I should be able to get the rest. That's another new CE that I'm guessing was Lost Belt 5.5. Royal Presence. I have no idea who that is, as far as characters go. Let's rely on Splendid Grace, neither her position as head of household, nor the time she has left to her matters. Being herself is what will change the world. She needs to only carry herself like the queen she is. Yeah, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> no idea at all. Oh well, I can't know everybody in Type Moon lore. That was some serious lag and distortion of my screen. Thank you, game. That's Rin. Wait, that was Rin? That, seriously, that was Rin Tosaka. That did not look like her. At all! I seriously did not see Rin in that image at all, to be honest. Did we just get back-to-back -back of the same Phantasmal Species? We got back-to-back -back Phantasmal Species CEs in our double spin. Well, um, so shop. Let's see. We don't burn Bartholomew because he needs to live. He is technically the next one on the rank up list, so I should probably get that out of the way here because my inventory is. A little bloated here, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take care of that, aren't I? I also need to take care of my CEs because I'm lazy. Alright, so where was that? That was a four star CE. I'm hoping the fives. I just wanna get a closer look at it because I really did not see Rain in that image. It was a 4-star, right? Or was it a 5-star CE? Was it a 5-star CE? Wait, these are all the unlocked CEs, so it would be down here. Right, right, right. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm just dumb. So... 4-star CE. Where 
is it? Where is it? There it is. That is seriously... There's no way that's Rin. No way. That does not look like her at all. It does not at all look like her. I'm gonna actually get a... I'm looking it up at this point because... That was called Royal Presence. Or Monarch's Temperament. It features... Re Rokan Messiah from the Master of Lancer in Fate Prototype. Oh, she's... She's that version of Rin Tosa. Okay, okay. Got it. Got it. Okay. Good to know. Well, that is the summoning pretty much done. I don't think there's anything else. I will really quickly here clear Bartholomew off of the level up order sheet here because... I have him now, so I should probably lock him in place so I don't accidentally burn him again. Cough <laughs> accidentally. Um, Spirit Origin list. He's going to be near the bottom of the rankings. Bartholomew. Alright, this is your last chance, Bartholomew. Last chance. Do not flirt with Mashu again. Alright, but let's see. So I need unfilter the foes. How many foes? Wait, I'm not showing the threes. There we go. Show me the three star foes. There we goes. Uh I don't like that I'm gonna have to claim the thirties just yet, so we'll click we'll stick with the twenties. And then go to Enhance, yeah. Servant, down to the Riders, there he is, select, go, yeah, we'll get Bartholomew done and over with so I can get him off the level up list, and then we... We'll proceed with the story, Stanley. So, rehide the foes. There we go. Probably also, we're gonna also use the silver embers that I have stocked up first. He does not deserve the golden embers that I possess. Even if it will be a little bit more time-consuming to do so. He does not deserve as much gold as he might get. He will get the minimum gold. The absolute bare minimum amount of gold embers. Bartholomew here will be getting. That is my anger at him. It's time for a change. What do you think, Master? Think this will make me popular? You think so? Hmm? Pirate Gentleman, decrease crit star gather rate for yourself and increase crit strength for all allies. That's not a bad skill, honestly. Uh, grab more silver embers or fires or whatever they're called. And keep going. Super or great success would be awesome. Of course, I don't get it, but it would have still been awesome. No, no, you're not. You're getting as little of those as possible, Bartholomew. As few as possible. Even if it does slow me down, I don't care.
Something from the bottom of your stomach? Yeah, it's the lava that I'm pouring into these embers to burn you from the inside out. No new effort, huh? That's disappointing. There is no way I could head down to the harbor if my clothes don't change. Attention to detail like this is what sets me apart from other pirates. So your fat the fact that you think you have a fashion sense makes you different from the other pirates, Bartholomew? That's that's not something to be proud of. You know. Your unique fashion being the single thing setting you apart from other pirates? Nah, that that's not something you should be happy about, dude. We got a super or great suck. Nice. That definitely cuts down on the embers needed. Third ascension. Nearly there with them. So, I'm always a good luck man. That, that, that's because I always place close attention to my appearance. There's nothing wrong with having a little... But you having a handsome servant, right? As long as you don't flirt with what's mine. Uh, so pillager, quick effectiveness for yourself, decrease crit rate for all enemies, and gather some stars. It's an okay skill, it sounds like. And I'm almost through with all of the silver embers, and then he can finally start being fed gold. He's lucky. Level. You should be lucky that he's even getting such a gift from one such as me. After what he's done. And wow, it is a certain difference in the amount of experience required to go from the 40s onwards, it seems. There we go. Final ascension here. I think his max level is going to be 55 because he's a one star. No, it is 60. Take a look at this, Master. Amount of silver and gold treasure for your taking. And obviously, you're one of my treasures, too. May you forever be a gentle and calming presence to myself and others. Buttering me up's not going to get you any less off my shit list, Bartholomew. Super or Great Suck is always nice. So there we go. Bartholomew is now fully leveled up. We will skill him up here to a nice and steady 666. And then he will be done and out of our minds for hopefully a fair while. Alright. And I can clear him from Love Border. And his picture that I apparently did not lock in. How many others did I not lock in? Now yeah, the others seem to carry along with their rows, if nothing else. So that's good, at least. And Bartholomew here, thankfully, is not requiring a lot of materials. To level himself up. Okay. And I have some pictures I'm going to need to figure out, slash lock in. Let's get Bartholomew in here. The rest of the way... And then we can finally get to the Christmas time in the city. Jingling, jingling, hear them ring, hear them ring. Soon it will be Christmas Day. Okay. 
The main question is, am I going to go for the 324 boxes that I need to do in order to get Lamb, or in order to get Melt up to level 120? That is the main question I have on my mind this Christmas season. Alright, 666 for Bartholomew Roberts. Um, I don't think anybody else is lacking a skill level that is not at least level 2. Possibly, though, actually. Let me just verify. All my level servants are 6s across the board, except for when they're missing. Hajime is good. Retra. Get her up to level 2 on that first skill. Can't keep pressing that button. Sabers. Did I get all the sabers? I guess I did. Hmm. Um. Yeah, everybody looks to be there except for Martha. Let's just get Martha to a two on that first skill, and we're good to go. Enough stalling. It's time to get to the event. So let us finally begin the time limited, the glorious path to Santa Claus, the sealed Christmas present the prologue Woo! yes I did Jimbo Serna yes I did got her in two 11 spins at that so I got her in pretty good time I feel but welcome to the stream Jimbo how be things how be things Ooh. five tickets nice very very nice I mean, to be fair, I wasn't... I mainly wanted her because she's a dragon. She's not going to be replacing Lambda in my Caldea. Because Lambda is my go-to AoE Arch Lancer. Well, what's with all the festive red and green decorations here? I didn't even notice them going up. Pretty sure this ain't one of Toto-sama's messes. This is some kind of special Caldean tradition thing. Oh yeah, I remember now. There's some holiday near the end of the year, ain't there? I think it's... Doors open. Come on in. Didn't even really want her, just kind of said screw it and did five ticks. Hey! You know, it looks like she's a decent enough servant, so... Congrats. If you don't have a Lambda, you have a, a good second place AoE Arts, Arts Lancer. If you're here about the a commission, I'm already booked through the year, so I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze you in, but I can at least hear you out. Who knows, maybe you'll have a subject so enticing it'll make me want to push all my other jobs back. Is it me coming in? No, it's... It's him. Huh? Damn, I may just be a painter, but even I can't tell this is serious. Okay, pal, what, I, what do you want? Isn't it obvious? I want to give you a present. Here, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, Karna. Oh. Hokusai is literally every internet artist. Indeed! Hokusai is, after all, the OG H artist. Tentacle H, perhaps, I think. Or at least, I know he's like one of the OGs, so. But I love that, just... Isn't it obvious what I'm here for? To give you a presence. Just knock on your door, have a hood over your head. Have a pose where you have one hand just in the sky in, the, in a fist. And isn't it obvious what I'm here for? To give you a present. Just with a serious look on your face. My apologies for the intrusion. Intrusion, and once again, Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, Karna. I hope you're doing well. I'm here to bring you a present. What do you care how I'm doing, ass face? You want a piece of me or something? <laughs> oh, Mo. Also, I like how every servant's room has just become Christmasified. That's glorious. You're waiting for tonight to farm since the current nodes don't give much months. Yeah, I'm I'm heavily debating how hard I want to farm this because I did do the map and it will take me approximately 324 boxes to get enough embers to level my melt from level 104 to level 120. And I'm seriously debating if I want to do that or not. I'm seriously questioning if I want to hurt 
do that much damage to my sanity to farm that many boxes. I'm not sure just yet. Senpai, we've been accompanying Kara on his rounds for a while now. So, Shroffer, so speaking as a seasoned sea pro, how do you think he's been doing? Sure, I'm a seasoned Christmas professional. I think he's doing great. There's no wrong way to give presents as Santa Claus. I agree, Karna always does take everything he does seriously. So I had a feeling she'd make a great... That's an error there. They, they've been so used to the Santas being female that they're calling Karna female. But I do think he may be coming across a little um, somber. I'm aware many are many people are understandably on edge when receiving an unexpected guest in their rooms. Maybe I should announce who I am the moment I open the door so they don't find me suspicious. Perhaps something like nobody move Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, that's gr that's excellent. From ho ho ho, I am Santa to nobody move. Santa Claus is here. Ah, uh, that makes me think of that movie that is in theaters right now. The Christmas movie where Santa's pretty much going all Rambo on a bunch of home intruders or something. <laughs> Nobody move! Santa Claus is here. He's on the right track, but that still sounds like some kind of raid. <laughs> smile, Karna. Just, just smile. Yes, I think so too. That said, well, some of our Santas have been more... Inclined smile than others, so I think everyone's used to it. True. Very, very true. Although, to be honest, I think Santa Salter does smirk a fair bit. So I think Santa Salter smirks. Nightingale is definitely a more blank expression. Santa Karna's personality you like more than the Lancer form. Haven't seen enough of it, but, um, I mean, Karna's always been a pretty cool sir. So, I'll hold my judgment as to how his character develops. So smiling could just be a bonus of sorts. Smiling, huh? I'll give it a shot. So far we are two very cheery Santas and two kind of neutral-esque Santas. What kind of Santa will Karna be? Even though I have officially inherited the position, I still have much to learn about the ways of Santa. If there are areas in which I have room to improve, then I must pursue them aggressively. To that end, I am prepared to endure any manner of training, no matter how difficult or strenuous. I suppose that means I'll also need to spar against opponents who can provide an appropriate challenge. Yeah, he's sounding more like a boxer, dude. <laughs> I agree, Senpai. In fact, that reminds me of something Ash said earlier. Yo, Karna, I heard all about it. Sounds like you got stuck with a hell of a gig this year. Hey, he's smiling! I don't know if I would describe it like that, but I am honored to be entrusted with such a rewarding task. Now that I have it, it's only right that I should endeavor to carry it out to the best of my ability. Is he trying to rival, rival ruler Martha? I mean, to be fair, Martha's not the best boxer. Um, I'm pretty sure it is Pollux that is the best boxer in Chaldea. No, Pollux is the best wrestler, I think. I think Pollux is the best boxer. No, bo is it boxer or wrestling? One of those, it's one of those two. Um, But, like, she is, or caster, my bad, caster. I always mix those two up. But, um, caster is um the best. Hang on, I'm checking here. No, it is Pollux. It is Pollux that is the feed. She is so good that she is better than Herc. She beat Herc in wrestling, to be honest. So, you know, gotta show some respect there. I get those two mixed up too much. I really, really do. Now that I have it, it's only right that I should endeavor to carry it out to the best of my ability. Let me see if I can't find the proper ones. Um, yes, yeah, so Pollux, Dioscuri Pollux, is the younger sister. And per Greek mythology, Pollux is better at wrestling than Herc. So, yeah. It's something. 
I'm glad to see you're in high spirits as usual, too, Ash. What? They're punching each other's palms as if they're kids. Aw. I like how these two have a good camaraderie going on. I really do. <laughs> well, look at you. Reminds me of the good old days. I remember we used to be so eager to practice any new moves we learned that we'd spend the rest of the day beating the shit out of each other with them. Duryod Hana would get tired of it and bail out after a while, but you'd always stuck around till I was good and satisfied. Thanks to that, I think I had more bruises than skin. Of course, we didn't have any time. We didn't have time to rest. We were too busy bettering ourselves. Those were the good old days. And now we have all new good days. Oh, on that note, I'd better start visiting rooms. I have presents to deliver, after all. Hmm. What do you think of Karna as Santa Ash? <laughs> Ash isn't mad. Well, I think Ash only gets mad under specific circumstances, like Arjuna. I think Arjuna makes Ash mad. Oh, hey, Master. Didn't see you there. Anyway, you want to know what I think of him as Santa? I think it's a goddamn awesome. He seems like his old self again. Wow. Okay, that's cool. What do you mean? Don't get me wrong, he's still the same guy at heart. It's just that... How to put this? Now that he's become Santa, something new and unfamiliar to him, it's got him thinking he needs to train again. Which has him thinking like he did back in the days he was training nonstop. Back then, he was stoic, earnest... He was stoic, earnest as hell... And so hell-bent on improving himself that he'd pull off the craziest shit before he even knew what he was doing. Come to think of it, he even pretended to be a Brahma, Brahmana at some point so he could learn from his old man's teacher. Got his ass up for something fierce, but he didn't care. I still don't know how it all went down myself, but I bet if you asked him about it, he'd just say something like, I never lied, I just never told them I wasn't. Anyway, I'm guessing that kind of devotion to training is what made him like a boxer, since that's the closest analog in modern day. Okay, makes sense. That'll probably change how he gets along with the other servants, too. Hell, with Arjuna, he might just... On second thought, never mind. I got no idea how that might shake out. Anyway, that little workout made me hungry. I'm sure I'll have plenty of other chances to spar with him now that he's back in training mode. So for the moment, I'm gonna go grab a bite at the cafeteria. Anyway, my point is, he's still a servant here at Caldea. That much hasn't changed. He might see some weirder things than usual, but don't worry about it. Deep down, he's still Karna. Later. Okay, so the Karna we know is, in general, a bit of a bored prodigy who has pretty much become a master at everything he has done. Santa Karna, meanwhile, is has picked up something new that he wants to excel at, so he's giving his all to it. Okay, so Karna is a bit of a perfectionist, except for when he becomes perfect at it, or he masters it, he becomes bored. That would be a really terrible mindset to have to live with. We've seen him deliver a number of presents since that conversation now, and Ash was right. Really, when you think about it, we shouldn't be surprised. He's certainly not the first servant at Caldea to have a new spirit origin affect their intent, interests, and tastes. Come on, Master and Ash. I still have a great deal of presents to hand out and road work for my training. Be warned, I won't wait around for you if you can't keep up. You can always use a trainer bicycle if you need to. Sounds like his training is about to get serious. Shall we keep following him, senpai? Sure thing. <sighs> okay, here we are. Are you okay, senpai? Here, have some water. Do you want some too, Karna? Still can't beat Amiya at cooking. He just hasn't put his mind to it yet. Let's be honest. Honest, though, actually... I think if Karna ever wanted to look, learn how to cook, he would definitely throw himself into Benny Enma's cooking dojo thing that she has, which the first level is pretty much a Hunger Games or a survival scenario on an abandoned island. I feel like Karna would love that, let's be honest here. Karna just needs to tr go all in and try and learn as many new skills as possible. I feel like he would have fun, and who knows? He does have the power of the sun in the palm of his hand, so I'm sure he could cook up a real mean steak. Thank you, but no thank you. Water is one of the worst things you can have if you're focusing on weight control. Please give Master my share. 
Well, all right, if you say so. Exactly. Gordon Ramsay. And he would totally... And he would, um... I could definitely see him be being a donkey sandwich at least once. And him just taking it stoically like he does. Now, let's go in and deliver this present. Let's see, I need to smile and I need to explain what I'm, is I'm doing here. Okay. Oh, man. That was good. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, Karna. Only Karna. Let's be honest here. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, Benny, I believe, is the best... Is hands down the best cook in Galdea. Oh, man. Karna... Freeze. Do you see the smile? Remain still and this will all be over shortly. <laughs> oh, Karna. Also, um, given whose room this is, I guess we're... I'm not the only one who ships Fran and Mo. Am I? Him, eh? Uh, burglar. Karna, you forgot to see where Santa Claus. That's the most important part. And that brings us to now. Jeez, you scare me. You can't just go barging into a delicate young Oto Maiden's room like that, you know? I'm sorry, I guess that wasn't the right Santa move. Oh, <laughs> uh, it was... I you know, Karna, just keep doing that. That'd be so good. Well, I don't think I'd really know the ch, ch guy to tell you the truth. Anyway, we've got a guy Santa this year, huh? That's a breath of fresh air. My understanding is that Santa's a traditionally been a male figure, but yes, around here it is. Hey, as long as I get a gift, I don't care who it's from. Who I get it from. In fact, I can already tell what it is. That's the latest volume of my tentacle iron bar, isn't it? It has to be. I put it on my wish list. I stuffed into my st on the wish list. I stuffed in my stocking and everything. Tentacle iron bar. Isn't that the Dojin comp? The Dojin group that was composed of Oi and Abby in Servant Fest. Oi is corrupting Abby. Why not? Santa's job is to make wishes come true, after all. Huh? It's pitch black. That doesn't look like any of the cri more Christmassy gifts he's handed out so far. Hey, I right, got thanks. Huh? I can't get it open. Seriously, what am I supposed to do with this thing? I've tried a box cutter, scissors, and but I can't even make a dent in it. Santa Claus is an actual servant. It's just the spirit of Santa. Santa is a... All of... You know what? Santa is so powerful that he cannot manifest as a normal servant. That is why all these servants become Santa. They are Santa Claus pseudo-servants. Santa is such a strong divine being that he cannot manifest. His divinity is stronger than that of Karna, even. That is the strength of Santa Claus. What's going on here, Santa? What did you wrap this thing in? Hmm? Maybe if you tried holding it out at your arm's length. Huh? What, like this? <laughs> yes, do it, Karna. Santa punch! <laughs> my present, my precious manga! What's the idea? What's when opening the box if it destroys the present inside? I'm afraid you don't have to worry about that, Osaka Behemoth. Once you pick your present up from the wall, Karna knocked it in. <laughs> Try to go. Oh, Karna. Oh, Karna, 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 Karna. Oh, this is going to be another comedic Santa event. That's great. I love how sometimes they're serious and sometimes they're silly. 
Not even a scratch. Hmm? What's going on here? That's what I want to know. My manga. My sweet, sweet manga. Goodness, it won't open. This is terrible. A prison that can't be opened is like a picture book with a lock. Or a gingerbread house behind a glass display. When did Santa become such a meanie? Oh no. I can smell it, but my animal, I mean Lubu instincts, are telling me that this box contains some of the best carrots money can buy. But even with Lubu's tremendous strength, I can't get it open. It's a fate worse than death. <laughs> this can't be right. I've been delivering presents just like I practice. How did this happen to them? Does this mean I'm a failure as a Santa? Um, it looks like only some of them have been those imp impenetrable black ones. Something definitely doesn't seem right about this. There may be even something nefarious going on. Let's go talk to someone who can help us. Who can help us? I wonder, is it gonna be... Is Gordolf gonna finally get into the Christmas insanity that is Caldea? Please, let Gordolf be drawn into the insanity that is a Caldean... Christmas. Excuse me. Well, the other Santas and I did some digging. We found out what's going on. The other Santas. Something's interfering with your Santa power remotely, yes? <laughs> oh, Samba Santa. Even though that sort of thing shouldn't even be possible, no. Those black presents appear to be a side effect of that interference. While my intent is not to console you, I can confirm you are not at fault for the anomalous presence. I see. We cannot allow this outside malefactor to continue contaminating our medical supplies. They must be dealt with immediately. You made a JP account recently. You're trying to rush this story to get to Lost Belt 6. I mean, you could just wait like six months and you get to Lost Belt 6 here in NA. As for the unopenable presents, I've been running some tests on the sample ones you brought me. Oh, I've also decided to call them black presents, just because it's easier. Where's Santa Lily? Where is Jean d'Arc Alter Santa Lily Lancer? She is a Santa too. She should be in this discussion with the rest of them. <laughs> Did you figure out why they can't be opened yet, Da Vinci? Yep, they've been conceptually cut off from the outside world. They're essentially unbelievably tough conceptual bounded fields shrunk down to the smallest possible size. That's not something just anyone who knows a little Matraff can do. Waiting is lame, but the anticipation. Don't you want the anticipation to build? Unless And also, unless you can understand Japanese, don't you want to be able to actually read what the heck is going on? As well as roll for the new servants as they come out, rather than have to get them now just when they might be on raid up again which means these boxes have been tampered with using divine authority or something of equal power there's john d'arc alter santa lily lancer so then there's no way they can be opened unfortunately not i just can't see a way to do it from the outside at least not right now this kind of conceptual separation is just too powerful i'd like to think i could figure something out with enough time but honestly, at this point, I have no idea what that might be. Are you sure there's nothing we can do? I'm Santa now, after all. If I let Christmas end like this, I will have failed utterly in my duty as a Santa. Ho ho ho, I am Santa. That's where Plan B comes in. We found the line of energy being used to tamper with your Santa power. And I've managed to track it to its source. Yep, I was just getting to that. Take a look. Mmm, translation. Fair. Singularities, huh? They sure are. It turns out we've got a number of minute ones on our hands now. And one of them is giving off a signal we followed. Then that must be where the ones behind this is hiding. Yep, that's almost certainly the case. Especially given the singularity's unusual shape. It's shape. Take a look at the observational data, Mash. You'll see what I mean. It turns out this minute singularity has some clear and unusual characteristics. Characteristics that make the connection between it and the Black Presence pretty much impossible to miss. See, the singularity is completely cut off from everything, too, just as though it were put in a box and sealed away. If it helps, you can think of it as an occluded singularity. An occluded singularity. 
However, unlike with the Black Presence, we can actually observe what's inside it, at least to a point. What's more, since it's so much bigger, its seams are actually just loose enough for someone to ray shift inside. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let us get everyone's presents back! Now you're talking. Thank you, Master. I'll go too, of course. Let's see, it looks like it's in a cold climate, so we'll have to bring our snowsuits. Well, don't forget, this is an occluded singularity. The rules there are going to be a little different. Specifically, we'll only be able to conduct a bare minimum of ray shifts, which also means we can only send a small elite team. I see, then I guess we Santas will just have to hold the fort here, yes? It's only right that this year's Santa be the one to settle this. I can handle it on my own. Besides, the ring is meant for one-on-one -on -one fighter. For only one fighter on each side. Bien dicho, with the exception of tag team matches, I couldn't agree more, yes? Also, now that I think about it, I guess Karna isn't the only Santa to, um, you know, decide that the best way to get into the holiday spirit is to take up a, take up a violent sport. <laughs> Remember, there may be any number of anomalies owing to the nature of the secluded singularity. So stay alert out there, okay? Got it. Of course, I know I still have much to learn, Da Vinci, so your warning is unnecessary. I will remain on my guard until I become a true Santa. Do it, Karna. <laughs> you should have just thanked her. I still, he's still, I see he's still as stubborn as ever. I know I shouldn't let it bother me, but it does. Why would he, of all people, be chosen to be Santa? Looks like he's chained a bit on the inside, too. I just hope he's not making any trouble for Master. Oh, man. Well, there's no point letting it to get to me. I'll just have to stay away from anything Christmas-related. Besides, it's not like it has anything to do with me, anyway. Oh, Arjuna. Why would you say that, you jinxed it, man? Saber Santa Karna has been added to the roster. Alright, um... My name is Karna. My class is Santa. But I might also be a boxer. I'm just a fledgling when it comes to being a Santa. In order to, for me to grow as a person and be a bona fide Santa, I intend to train hard. I ask that you give me the support I need. Karna Santa will join your party only for the duration of the event. The glorious path to Santa Claus, a sealed Christmas present. By trading a certain item obtained in the event, he will officially join your roster. Woo! Also, I totally need to see if there's, like, a guide for how to set up your supports for this. Alright, so, his first skill is Footwork Santa for a quick by th a quick and buster card effectiveness for three times for three turns, and a straight three turn quick crit buff. Yeah. Excuse me. Skills are Magic Resistance A, Divinity A, and Hard Puncher EX for an increase to buster card crit strength for yourself. And he is a single target quick saber. He also can remove guts and deal damage. Okay, so the guts removal is kind of niche, but interesting. Very interesting. So round one, the Singularity's Evil Dragon. Okay. Um, that's alright, Jimbo. That is alright. So, it's probably only going to be the three-star CE that is in this first one. There we go. And let us set up a squadron here. So, everybody here gets the event bonus. I will bring Karna Santa. And... Why am I filtering? What am I filtering? Uh, default. There we go. You would try to get the CEs, but you already got free trap. Fair. Very, very fair. Um... Let's see. Let's go ahead and throw upon Karna a sumo. Yes, yes, I know. He's only a temporary servant. You don't need to tell me twice, game. And then back to the event bonus, we will go ahead and bring Scotty 
throw a freeze frame on her. And then... Any other support servants? Not in particular, it looks like. So we'll bring Lambda there in the back line. Vritra, Ruler Martha. And actually, Lambda, normal melt can replace for the time being. Three star, four star, and four star. I kind of doubt that the first node will have any um, thing beyond the basic three star CE, so we'll go with this. Now, the question here is, is Karna actually going to be viable, not leveled up? <laughs> that is a question to ask. Will I be capable of using Karna in the um, story sections of the event? Yeah, but I mean, this is Karna's event, you know? Santa means winter, and winter means snow. Fair. That makes the perfect... That makes this the perfect place for my Santa training. I can feel all this extra weight from the snow strengthening on my core and legs. Yes, I can feel it now. Are you alright, Master? Please, don't push yourself hard. This is real tough. <sighs> oh, I didn't realize this road work would be so hard for, the, for a trainer. In that case, you should probably forgo walking and use a bicycle instead... No, wait, that would even be that would be even more difficult here. Hmm, what is the right way for a trainer to accompany a fighter for road work on a mountain? An excellent question. Ah, a sled, of course. Now, now I regret not ordering one. I didn't think I would need it. <laughs> Aw, Santa needs a sled, though, Karna. Sorry about that. I tried to get you guys as close to the target as I could, but putting you right on top of it wasn't in the cards. I wish you didn't have to trudge through such a harsh environment, but there's nothing we can do. Even with the magecraft we use, so you wouldn't have to worry about the altitude. You're still in an area only the most hardcore mountain climbers would normally be able to reach. Himalayas are the most treacherous mountain range on the face of the earth, after all. We're on the Himalayas?! Fair. Anyway, I'll hop as best as we, I can from here, so just take your time and watch your step, okay? Yeah, like, um... In fact, I'm pretty sure Karna could just... punch. And clear out a lot of the snow. Just pull an All Might here, Karna. Pull an All Might and uppercut the sky to clear the snow. And all the weather. It's okay, Da Vinci. We knew we would be in for a difficult trek when we heard the Singularity was located. Don't worry about me. Please devote your full attention and resources to Master. Thank you, Karna. I can't devote all of our resources, but if you're okay with it, I'll certainly save most of them for Master. Uppercut the Mountain. Hmm. That could potentially work. But the, the thing is, with Uppercutting the Mountain is you need to find the chin. You need to find the chin of the mountain. Okay, you're at the target area. Remember, stay alert. Look out, Master Imash. Someone's here. Who's that Pokemon? Oh, hmm. He must have tracked me down somehow. Oh well, I thought this might happen. Servant, please get back. Please get back, Master. I'm not sure who this human child or the girl with. Something mixed into her R. <coughs> hmm. So, she's obviously referring to Galahad, but wouldn't she say something like, or the girl with another person or another soul? So, is Galahad not fully human? I don't know. I'm wondering. But I do recognize your scent, your scent, man in black. It's faint. But it's unmistakably Indra. Do you have one of his weapons, perhaps? 
I don't have Indra's spear on me at the moment. I'm Sint right now, not a Lancer. <laughs> I see, so you're this Sint person. Have you come to scold me for being naughty then? In fact, yes. Answer me this, Evil Dragon. Why have you interfered with my duty to deliver presents? Evil Dragon? I mean, she does seem to have some sort of tail, but even so. An Evil Dragon with a connection to Indra. Karna, is that? Yes, I'm guessing that's Ritra. She's the serpentine demon god of drought and an evil dragon who clashed with Indra many times. Indeed, I am Ritra. I don't know why I've taken this form, but it doesn't matter. Regardless of how I may appear, I am and always will be a serpent. Now, what is your name, bearer of the Santa Mantle? I'm Karna, son of Surya. Oh, ho, who are you now? Yeah, I have a question. Why? Hmm? You smell like a typical human, but... Your eyes tell a different story. Yes, you and that girl over there seem both both seem human and not human. Interesting, yes, very interesting. <sighs> Again, the implications, the lore implications that this could hold. He asked you a question. Answer it. Oh, so hasty. I would have thought the answer obvious, but very well. You wish to know why I shut those boxes tight? They made perfect bait that way bring bait to bring you right to me so I can swallow you whole. Mm, and you all look good enough to eat. So you were just trying to lure us here, were you? What a waste of effort. You didn't need to go all through all that trouble. Santa is always willing to accept any challenger. If you want to eat me, then by all means, try. Both of you get ready to fight! Great. Preparing to engage Richa, the apparent culprit behind the black presence in combat. Hmm, I wasn't planning to eat you just yet, since you still need to be prepped and seasoned. But I suppose there wouldn't be anything wrong with having a little taste. If it's Ortonax Mash, Galahad left her, so maybe this was... ...meant for before the Lost Belt area. It's not... I don't think it's meant for before the Lost Belt era, though, is the thing. Because Da Vinci Lily... I actually, I can actually check. When... What is the requirements for this? Does this Christmas require any Lost Belt completion? <laughs> mm, mm -hmm. Of course, she's got a break bar. I brought a novice servant to a break bar fight. Oh no. <laughs> Karna's in trouble! <laughs> Karna, let's see what your NP can do here! Old Santa Claus's fist. A flurry of blows and discriminate of benediction. Stay calm. It'll be your turn soon. Now take it. This is your Christmas present. <laughs> that was quite the Christmas present there, Karna. Damn, even at level one, he is a beast. Sure, he probably has a... 1 to 200% damage modifier going for him right now, but still. I have no idea. I JoJo is on my watch list. It's on my watch list that I really need to start making some headway into. Okay, no. So you just need to clear Fuyuki to gain access to this Christmas event. Hmm. But the fact that she, so, the fact that she references something about us, by the way, Vritra, it goes back to the whole Black Barrel thing. I feel like this is post-Olympus. So, it's post-Black Barrel, because obviously, it's gotta be post-Part 1, since Aresh and the Christmas and the Underworld was the last ray shift we would do in Chaldea per Gilgamesh. So that was the last ray shift we would ever technically do so christmas 3 was the last christmas we took in base caldea so this has to be after the destruction of human of humanity and the start of the lost belt era <sighs> 
the timeline is wonky. She's strong. Oh, so you're really struggling, aren't you? Now I'm getting really hungry. Does this mean my scientists still aren't heavy? Aren't heavy enough? Hmm. Can't see that distortion in front of you? I'm betting that's the core of this occluded singularity. You should be able to disable it with one good hit. That should also knock out the field for each created, which might weaken her. Got it. I'll give it a shot. Here we go again. Hey, J6, welcome to the stream. Happy things, happy things. Doesn't mean the occluded singularity turned back into a normal, minute singularity. Oh, so you managed to destroy the foundation of my damn world with your fist. Ah, oh, you really should quit while you're ahead. You've already seen plenty delicious. Truly, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. Still, I think that's enough for today. I don't want to gobble you up before you fully ripened. If you want to lure me back out, I suggest you make yourselves as delectable as possible. To that end... <laughs> She's gone. Reacher's signal has completely disappeared. Hmm. So, Reacher, I'm not... I can't really... I really should not be ranking Reacher on the scale. Since, in a couple weeks, I'm going to put out a definitive waifu ranking. Of all the female servants. Though, I'm honestly not sure if I want to stream myself doing that or record it in a separate video and just post it. I really need to think about, figure out what I'm going to do with regards to that. She's gone. Vritra's signal has completely disappeared. Indeed. Peace. A full ad... Dang it, J6! Stop getting all... Stop hugging all the shinies. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have let her get away. Don't worry about it. None of us expected to run into a, such a huge dragon can out here. Especially right off the bat. I mean, we're talking about a dragon that could even give Indra a tough fight. And Indra was an actual god. She's a servant, so she's probably limited to only a portion of her power like Divine Spirit pseudo-servants. But even so, she looks to be one of the biggest dragonkin we've ever seen. You shiny hunted a massa- Okay, so hunting it is not that bad. Indeed, I got Vritra within two eleven spins, Draconic, and welcome to the stream as well. How be things, how be things. But yeah, it only took me two eleven spins to get Vritra. And I also got a couple of the various CEs as well. That is good to hear that you are doing good. Right now, I'm debating as to... Right now, the, the topic has been brought up as to... Or rather, my thought process has gone to... I don't really want to publicly rate Retra just yet on the scale because I have, don't have enough information about her. But I'm also... Um, I'm also wondering, as far as the definitive waifu and the definitive family rankings for all the servants... Or for all the female servants for the waifu and all the normal servants for the family if I should stream myself doing that or if I should just record the video of that I'm not sure just yet not sure an anime only brains monster list that shouldn't be too hard if you're trying to build a deck just go trick stars draconic you can pretty much build a pretty darn good trick star deck with only the anime cards that's no consolation a true Santa should be able to defeat anything that threatens Christmas, and should be able to do so with their own power alone. I couldn't do that, which means I'm not yet a true Santa Claus. Sir, clearly I still have a long road ahead of me. So what now? Well, at least we know a few more things now. Dealing with Reacher herself should be the fastest way to fix all this, but not the only one. There are still some other included singularities like the ones you've just erased out there. And their cores are acting as a source of the interference, affecting the presence. Think of them as conduits of sorts, through which interference is being channeled. So you should be able to stop Vritra from tampering with the gifts by taking out each of those singularities. Unfortunately, we lost Vritra's signal. She must be somehow preventing us from tracking her. Still, it's a safe bet to say she's hiding in one of these singularities. Rockets are also a very reasonable deck. It won't be as powerful if you're going pure, um, pure brains only cards, but rockets should still be fine. I see, then yes, it seems like our only choice is to erase these occluded singularities one by one. 
Of course, we may run into Vritra again while we're doing that. If we do, then I'll defeat her. That's all there is to it. That definitely is the right idea, but much easier said than done when we're talking about evil dragon the likes of Ritra. Especially with the ratio restrictions these occluded singularities have in place. We might have to make some tough decisions about who to bring along to raise our chances. Luckily, not only do we have several servants with ties to Indra, we also have a bunch of legendary dragon slayers. All we have to do now is come up with a plan that takes advantage of those assets. Indeed we do, indeed we do. Oh. I can't wait. I simply can't wait. At first, I thought it would be just an amusing change of pace to block the concept of Christmas presents instead of water. But now I've been rewarded for my efforts with some of the tastiest looking morsels I've seen in a long time. Come to think of it, I thought I sensed another with an aura like interest as well. Well, no matter. That can be tomorrow's delight to look forward to. Oh, this is so exciting. Yes, that's it. Suffer. Suffer an endless, miserable torment. Then at the very end. <laughs> Some other preparations can wait until tomorrow. For now, I think I'll take a nice bath. Oh, they have... They put out the Earth Ignis's cards. I didn't realize that those have come out at long last. His cards didn't ever seem that powerful. Though. Another Freeze Frame CE. Swifty. Alright, so... We need to obtain five black presents in order to do the next story event. This is just showing the roulette. I hear humans peel their skin off snakes, consume their flesh, and use the skin to make wallets. I suppose humans are inclined to use everything without waste. Indeed. Okay. So, black presence must be drops from the nodes. Look good and determined, like you're ready to fight until you drop. Could you be a world champion or something? I don't think I look like that, Karna. Alright, so I guess I have to do some nodes here. Let me get the game press guide up here so I can get an idea of what... Each of these nodes has drops, although I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be three, then four, then five star currencies, as per the standard. But does anybody have... Nobody has the three star CE max limit broken? Wow. Wow, that, that's kind of sad. That saddens me that nobody has it max limit broken. Or they do have it max limit broken and they just don't have it on their lists, much like... I don't have anything on my list yet, because I don't know what exactly to put on there. I'll figure it out. Um, okay, I'm not... What is going on? Are people already prepped for tomorrow's? Maybe? Yeah, so it looks like it doesn't really matter for these first three. So let's just bring along Randy's Karna, or Kama, I guess. And we should be capable of getting through it with this setup. We can swap in another freeze for a while. Yeah, let's go. Let's see if a level 1 Santa Karna can take on the intermediate quest. Hey Randy, welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. How be things, how be things? Oh yeah, Karna will be fine. Jeez, he just one punched that black corner post. One punch. He's here for fun. He's number one. <laughs> You just popped in from a shower. Nice. But how be things, Randy? How be things? Wow, are we gonna three turn this node? Shocker. Aw, oh, knight who wants to learn karate. Oh no! Oh, that was the wrong servant to try and give a boost to. There we go. I kind of feel sad that I'm about to bully Gareth like this, but 
It needs to be done. After all, there is no kill like overkill. There is no kill type. This is my finish. Let's see this. Oh, sir, you let your power flow through my fist. Jeez, I love how Kara at level 1 is just smoking with all the buffs. Oh, I kind of feel like it. Do I really want to- Do I want to be a masochist and challenge myself to do the main story of this with just Santa Karna at level 1? Oh, the masochistic tendencies of myself. Why? Do I really want to do that to myself? Do I really want to? Hmm. Bronze fruit. Hey, Velvet! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the stream. Happy things, happy things. Where do I get the black presents? They're in the lotto, really. Did I just miss... Oh, they are! Okay, I'm, I'm just... Blind. Super, I gotta use a sword now. My hands are daggers, screw you. Exactly. Just came back from birthday dinner. Nice. Once more, happy birthday, Velvet. Happy birthday. Early or late or on time. Happy birthday to you. Alright, so the intermediate one. But how hath your day been, Velvet? Early birthday. Early, early, early. Alright, so, um, let's go with Lairin's Scotty. Birthday is on Wednesday. Okay, so I will be streaming on your birthday then, so I will be able to wish you an accurate happy birthday then. Alright, so, let's see here. We'll do double Scotty. Uh, do I have anybody that is super effective for this node? Anybody, anybody, anybody? I have... Sieg. Sieg is AoE, correct? Yes, Sieg is AoE. So he should be able to handle the last wave of this node. And this is probably a primary four-star currency dropper. So we'll throw everybody with four star currencies on here. Karna, Retra, and Base Melt. Sieg with double Castoria can three turn. Good information to have. Sadly, I don't think there was a Castoria with the CE on them. Plus, I'm not really going to be farming this node too much, I think. Yeah, I'm not going to be farming this node too much. If anything, it's going to be the next node that I'll have to farm if I need to get the black boxes. <sighs> A delicious H2O. But yeah. Do you need to... Well, I... I don't think I'm going to have to worry about shop CEs. Because... <clears throat> I don't know if you've been here, Randy, since I've done it, but... I have done the math. R slash I've done the math. She's done the math. And in order to get my melt from level 104 to level 120, I would need to do 324 lotto boxes. And I would get enough materials... To get melts from level 104 to level 120. And I have yet to decide if I'm going to be sacrificing that much sanity yet. The decision has not yet been made if I'm going to become that insane or not, but it very well could happen. It very well could happen. Yeah, suffice to say, I don't think I'm going to have to worry about that. I know at the very least I'm going to want to do at least so I can press the 100 spin button on stream because that sounds like it'll be a fun time. 
But, uh, but waiting for Santa Karna. Velvet, let me say, you're not going to be disappointed with your wait for Santa Karna, because already the event is hilarious. Santa Karna is already, like, hilariously good. You're a bit key of the only servant you have 300 coins for is for Drake. Most of my coins for Melt are from Bond, from Bond since she is Bond 11. Is this the first time I'm seeing Sieg sent Peak? Hmm. I think that was the first time I actually watched Sieg sent Peak, that felt fairly slow. You couldn't read the event when it came out, but you were happy for Santa Karna. Well, now you get Santa Karna, and you get to be even more happy because you get to read what's going on, too. So, a win-win. Alright, so... Silver fruit, silver fruit... Silver fruit, silver fruit. Oh, this one will be very easy. Lambda time, lambda time. It's lambda's time, lambda's time. Randy, you've already max leveled your Vritra. Nice. By the way, out of curiosity, does anybody have, like, a CE setup guide for this event? Because I really need to figure out what my support CEs should look like for this event. Eh, not for ended Castoria, but it's a Castoria. Alright, so... Easy choices here. Lambda. Lambda with scope. And then do that. And the back. <laughs> Very nice. A shrugging Santa. Very nice indeed. There we go. And five star CE. And that's pretty much it. Alright. Let's three turn this node. Yep, this should be good. Alright. Delicious H2O. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to see if I can't find something somewhere. In the meantime, let's just um, start sweeping. So the only bad thing about going with a non-friended Castoria is I'm not going to be able to drain as much. But oh well. Hmm. 60% NP is nice, though. 60% NP is very nice. And this pretty much guarantees that it's going to be even higher. And I think the best thing is, is that Lambda is going to be the go-to farming servant if I really want to go hard on the uh, farming here. Um, this one maybe? I'm searching the FGO subreddit to try and find a support setup recommendation. Um, oh, there's a three turn guide, so that'll be something to have open. Oh wow, I don't even need to do any extra bonuses. Lambda's already ready to smack. Uh. 
Bye bye, Tristan. Okay, so I think this one is an answer. Is it super heavyweight? I think it, yeah, it's the super heavyweight one, perhaps? Oh, it's one. Yeah, because it's skill. Okay. Good to know. Good information to have. Um, yeah, this is definitely a note I'm going to want to farm here. So, I need the black boxes in order to gain access to more of the events. That much is true. And based on the guide here, it looks like if I can do match one up here, I can get three black boxes. The Holy Knight Boxing Fest is a gold currency only node. Yeah, so I guess we will try and see if I can't get a Christmas gong. I got two ten spins. Only if a little step of you'll get hit. Oh, you're gonna be hit. It'll be a hit. Nothing. Is there, there wasn't anything you wanted? I see. Apologies. I still like training as a Santa. Nothing. Okay. Uh, we'll have to do this a couple of times then. Ideally here, I can find a Castoria. Because that will make this... Super easy. There we go. There's a Castoria. But I won't be able to do this forever because I do have to study tonight because tomorrow is my anatomy and physiology final. I currently have a 99 in the course, but I cannot afford to bomb the final exam. I truly cannot afford to bomb a final exam. That would be so bad. So yeah, I've got a lot of studying I get to do tonight. Woo! Studying! Yay! I love studying! Studying, studying, it's so fun, so why not do it, everyone? This also seems to be a fairly good node for the hand wraps, I'm noticing. Excuse me. Okay, so... Let me I need to think of how long I'm gonna be here. I want to, at the very least, unlock the next node. It is an Omni node, it looks like, so it won't be as good, but it is something. It'll be at least a little bit better farming. So yeah, I gotta, I gotta go fast. Gotta go fast here. Gotta get as many of those wraps as possible. See about setting my the support server to maybe have the uh, extra wrap CE on them. I feel like that would not be a bad idea. And purchase those as like. We are definitely going to be clearing out master missions, though. It's two more tens. Tens, I believe. Come on. I just need at least one gong so I can do the first match. And then two presents to unlock the thing. Also, just to clarify, it is 200 of the currencies. Right outside on my entrance music is Santa Claus. I don't know the title or the lyrics, but it goes like this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah! Okay, he's actually humming jingle bells. Don't get impatient. Keeping your distance and recouping your stamina is still a credible strategy. We got one black box. There we go. This is just like doing jabs to get an idea. There's no need to be discouraged. There's always next time. Only one black box so far. Okay. 
So one black box, so we still need to get one more black box and one Christmas gong so I can unlock the next story section. Silver fruit. And bonus filter to show me only cherry ice cold. That definitely narrowed it down. Outlaw! There we go. I think we're getting close. We're closing in. Closer and closer still. Love watching Mount work, or Lambda work her way through these fools. I should be capable of getting through at least round two here today. And then when and then probably Thursday I can come back for more fate. Having done a lot of farming in the off stream times, yeah. I'm liking the I'm liking the brain space that my IDs are going through here. Yeah, I think that's how we'll do it. Right now, I just need to focus on getting the graphs. Thirty-three. That's enough. Do another opening. Come on, I just need one gong. One gong, or if you want to give me all of the black boxes too, that would work. You look good and determined like you're ready to fight until you drop. Could you be a world champion? We've already heard that line. My current fist carries presence, which means it's heavy. No gong! Dang it. No gong, nor boxes. Keep going with Outlaws Castoria. And just keep pushing through. Stop put stop button press delay. There we go. I'm just reading the various reply replies on the day one for the Christmas event thread at this point. And it's pretty good. People saying that Hime is a person of culture because of the no friend thing, I think there's others. Thank you. 
Okay, there's. I, found, I actually found a support guy because that's what uh, the main thing I was looking for here. Santa Karna is bond one. Woot! And I have enough for two spins. Awesome. So I'm actually going to really quickly here set up my supports. Yeah, I'm here, so let's do the spins first. Left, right, and then... Not yet. Keep on hitting. Not yet. Keep on hitting. So we can definitely unlock the black box the very second that we um, get the ability to do so. Okay. Um... Or the very second we do the first boxing thing. So formation, support setup, event support one. So Saber is going to be Sumanai. Um, and it set it doesn't say anything in particular, so we'll just throw a bronze CE on him. Archer is a definite you want the bronze CE. Lancer, it doesn't matter, and Lambda will definitely work. So Lambda can get a 5-star CE. Rider is an important one. Can get the Silver CE. And a Caster, we'll just have our Casters layered. And they will get the Event CE when I get them. Assassin is an important one, and that's where you want the gold CE. And then the rest, it doesn't particularly matter, it looks like. Um... And do that. As for the Omni node, go ahead and throw. Keep Mashi there. Mashu can stay, and can have a 4-star. So that's primary event support setup done. Secondary event support can have Sigurd. And... So, 3 and 3. So, let's do it this way. So, 4, 3, 3. She's not going to be doing much. And then it was 5-4. Five, 5-4. Four. Five, and 4. And then Parvati. No. Santa Lily. Martha. Um, Waver deserves some time to shine. <laughs> Assassin Berserker was 5-5-4. Five, five, so... Five, five, four, and then Shiyome, Beowulf, Martha. And in the final setup. Well, actually, Abby, um, we could have Seek there. The final setup, Saber-wise, there's nothing. Because I don't have Santa Karna. Archer-wise, is nothing. Lancer-wise, we do have Parvati. And for Lancer, we do want the five star, so we'll quickly do that. Writer is four star. Do I have any? I do. I have Georges. Caster will put Castoria. With no CE just yet, because I don't have the event CE. Assassin will be blank. Zerker is going to be blank. Extra class. We'll have Oi. Who will have the four star. 
And last spot will go to Nursery Rhyme, I guess. Who can take the 5-star CE? Yeah, this will be fine. So our event support setup is good. Woo! Uh, excuse me. So, I don't have a Black Gong. Blech. I don't have a Christmas Gong. Blech. So we go back to this. We just need a single gong at this point since we got two black presents. Uh, I love how people are still are so happy about that. Freeze? Do you see the smile? Rain still in the over shortly. Or essentially that. That was such a good line. Button and we're good. Right. So just give me enough of the materials so that I can purchase the gong. Oh gosh. Now that people have mentioned I see it too. Looking at retry, you can only see Cynthia. Free Trez Bond level 1. And we're up to 48. We can do another 10 spin. Two 10 spins on the Lotto Box. We're also very close to having enough gold bananas to purchase our first copy of the Cherry Cult Icicle. Cherry Cult Icicle. Yeah. My current fist carries presents, which means it's heavy. We got a gong. Ding, ding, ding. I'm in the ring. Alright, so with the gong in hand, we can go ahead and do the Fighting Santa Match 1, Lucky Beginner. It is a Saber and a Lancer node. I will restrict to only four servants. I want a Scotty. Because I really want to give Karna the node here. Because I feel like it's thematically appropriate for Karna to take it on. Double Scotty Karna with two Santas, at, with another Santa as support. Not a friend Scotty, but it'll be fine. Yep, it's like my own servant, so we want Karna with Sumo. Yes, yes, I know. And then Scotty. It doesn't really matter at all. And another Santa as support. Supporting Santa will be Nightingale. There we go. Alright. Let's do this. Oh, I'm being masochistic by going in this with level 1 Santa Karna! <laughs> I think that's just the way I am. <laughs> oh, 
Also, it looks like the next match will be worth doing as well, since it will drop another five boxes. So the lucky girl and the unliked girl. Aww. Poor no, Anna. Anna, you're not unliked. Lots of people like Anna. <laughs> Sadly, Anna, while I do like you, you're also going to be the first one to go down. <laughs> Throw an evasion on Karna just to be safe. And do do do. Great Christmas everyone wished for. Put all my feelings into this blow. I feel like I'll be fine against Lucky Girl here. Oh, especially with that setup there. An attack buff is better than the NP strength will be. Do -do -do. Oh, close. If we had one more crit, we would have taken Lily out. Let's just... It might be overkill. We'll see if we get to that overkill stage. Will we get to overkill? Nope. Scotty finished her off. Here we go. That is the first boxing match done. We got three more black presents. So we can finally move on to round two. Ding, ding, ding. Five proofs of hero. Oh, no. I have... Okay, I thought it... I could have swore it was unlocked. I could have sworn this would be unlocked at this point. Hmm. Okay, so two will be tomorrow. So two is Tuesday, three is... So I'll be able to do... So when I come back on Thursday, hopefully, for stream, I'll be able to do round four. Okay, that's fine with me. Yeah, I'm completely fine with that. That will give me some time in between to continue to farm. So, I think this is going to be where I call it. Not going to be as efficient farming, sadly, since I will literally only be able to farm the Masterwork, the Merry Roadwork Advanced, sadly, but... You can't always get what you want, but I think I will be calling this stream here. I went through all that effort for nothing, but oh well. So, for now, I have been Solar Act Dragon. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's stream. If you have, leave me some feedback in whichever way you so see fit. If you want to check out more by me, be sure to check out my channel here on Twitch or YouTube. Same name, same games. There is plenty of content for you to enjoy. Once again, I thank you so much for coming out. I hope you enjoyed, and have a fantastic evening, everybody.